right guys, I'm here in Mackey waiting for the show tomorrow. Just thought I'd do a video or two. I'm gonna go up to the old uh, mine and take some shots. So an interesting thing about Mackey is uh, the mine's up ahead and I'll uh, get some photos of it, but these uh, these big trestles right here would carry all the mine tailings or the, or the mine uh, ore down here and uh, through a cart system, it was really cool. Mackey's one of those uh, really nice UTV friendly towns. Uh, you can ride your UTVs right on the road. Um, it's very, uh, very friendly to the UTVs, but uh, we also need to be very courteous as well. But uh, when we're in town, that we drive slow, don't stir up the dust, try to turn your radios down. Uh, that's one nice thing about uh, the comm is I can have my stereo go ahead and blaring in my ears and I'm not disturbing other people. So um, definitely one of the benefits of having the comm and having that stereo sound right up inside my ears. You know, I'm ha I know they're having a lot of problems down there in Moab with uh, some of the people that are against the UTVs. Uh, Moab's a mecca for off-road and has been for years, but now it's uh, got a lot of uh, issues. Um, with other people trying to shut it down. It's not, uh, it's not exactly right, but uh, we can definitely do our part to make, mitigate that, make that a little bit easier on people. Dang it, they got it all blocked off. I'm not able to get up to the mine. It's huge, I wish I could get up there, but they've got it all locked off, so. I'll see if I can get a photo from down below so I can show you guys. Turning around, heading the other direction. Move over, move over. There it is, clear up on the side. It's tough to see. I'll see if I can zoom in on it. See it way up there? So what it does is it goes from there and it goes clear down into the valley. When we came up that road right there, it goes way down in the valley is where those uh, other tram rails were. This one looks a little more modern. It's got some steel in it. Looks like it's still used. It's a really cool trestle that goes across the bridge. It's uh, really nice. I'll take some photos of it. We're coming up to it. There it is. Right there. A lot of cool stuff here up in Mackey. Everybody should come up here at least once. a lot of uh, plug and play brackets we're trying to expand what we offer as far as uh, what machines we can plug them into and we really strive to make it so you don't have to cut modify or uh, dig into your dash so if you wanted to take this thing out put it in your next machine you could and your machines back to stock that's a big advantage with this smaller radio a lot of people comment says like why don't you get a bigger radio more wattage but how often are you more than two to five miles away from your group? I mean, honestly, think about how far five miles is. And this radio has a capability of 10 plus miles line of sight. We've had customers tell me they've been up to 12 to 15. I mean, we only advertise 10 plus. But uh, obviously it can be knocked down too by uh, uh, trees and bushes. 
Well, that was fun. It's always great to get out and do a little bit of riding before a show. It has been a nice afternoon. I drove in, got in here about 3, and I've been riding ever since. So it's uh, now about 7. It's time to go get something to eat.